Hello, my name's Nunny, and you're watching Underground Heroes. Hello, my name is Angie Kusky, and I'm a singer-songwriter. Um, I write songs that I've been told have an 80s vibe, which is random, but there we go. Uh, I like to write quirky, fun songs, usually sometimes a, a couple of serious ones, but uh, um, yeah, so that's me. How long have you been making music and what got you started? I started writing uh, lyrics back in, oh crikey, um, early 90s really, so uh, I'll give away how old I am. Uh, um, and uh, I just assumed that, uh, you know, I, I, I couldn't play any instruments and uh, I didn't think I could sing. So I thought, well, the only thing I can do really um, to be involved in music is to write lyrics. And I enjoyed writing. Uh, so um, I did that for uh, a while and um, had uh, quite a few of them put to music by various composers. And then work got in the way for a while. So um, uh, I kind of put it on the back burner until about 2013, I think it was, um, when I bought myself an iPad which came with GarageBand, which is a joy because <laughs> for someone like me who uh, can't actually physically play any instruments, it's just wonderful to be able to make music. What's your latest release called? Tell us a little something about the track. Yes, my latest song is uh, called Hard Work Man. This is the one that is uh, was released, um, oh, I think it was the beginning of December uh, 2021. And uh, this one is a, a fun, quirky song, uh, sort of catchy pop song, and uh, very tongue-in-cheek. And it's basically about uh, if you have a partner who is... Uh, just hard work <laughs> makes a drama out of a crisis and uh, mountains out of molehills uh, constantly like that you know is a bit of a drama queen um, it can be very hard work <laughs> uh, so yeah it's uh, I had great fun doing that and uh, the video on YouTube is also a bit of fun as well who's the last artist you just listened to so the last artist that uh, I listened to um, I think was Johnny in the Box, one of the indies that I've had the great pleasure of uh, getting to know on Twitter. Um, and uh, they have great melodic songs and I uh, particularly love And So It Goes. Um, and I've also listened to a lot of uh, Lee Thomas recently, who is another fantastic artist who I've come to know through Twitter. Um, and uh, yeah, I bought uh, some of their tracks on, on Bandcamp recently and stuck them all onto a, um, well, a CD and also my, uh, my ancient little iPod. And uh, that's been, um, they've been going round and round in the kitchen and uh, getting to know those songs and um, absolutely love them, yeah. So uh, apart from that mainstream artist that I've uh, listened to recently, um, big old favourite of mine, Jethro Tull, I absolutely adore them and I have done since I was about 14. Can you tell me an interesting fact about you? Something that we probably wouldn't know. Ah, so an interesting fact about me that you may not know is that I have been on stage with Jethro Tull and uh, I won a radio competition uh, many, many years ago um, and uh, the prize was to uh, uh, meet the band and to uh, have five minutes of fame on stage with them in a, a concert that they were doing in... Uh, Smith Odeon as it was called back then and <laughs> yeah it was great fun they had a set which was um, set up in a bar cafe kind of a thing and uh, I had to um, dress up as a waitress and uh, come onto the stage and uh, serve them all a glass of wine and then sit down with uh, Ian Anderson at a table and have a little chat and uh, then uh, make my way off stage again and uh, that was my moment of fame probably as famous as I'll ever get but uh, uh, yeah, that was that was interesting because uh, um, I'm fairly tall, I'm five foot six, and uh, the uh, waitress outfit was not made for a, um, a person of my height, shall we say? So it was a little bit. Um, I felt a bit exposed, shall we say? But, uh, uh, but anyway, it was a great experience. And uh, uh, back in the days where men were allowed to wolf whistle at women, and uh, uh, so that, that was uh, it was a lot of fun. What are your plans musically for 2022? 
But really, I guess uh, with my own solo stuff, I'll just uh, continue doing what I'm doing and uh, singing wonky songs in a unique kind of way. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to continue to you know, work on my singing and um, hopefully uh, get that as good as I can get it. And uh, yeah, just, um, you know, I have been releasing one song every month uh, for the past well, probably about a year now. Um, hope I can continue to do that. I have releases going up until uh, March so far of my own solo stuff. Um, I'm also involved in a project called Twice Divine uh, where I'm the, uh, the lead singer and the lyricist and um, with a guy called David who is very very talented. Uh, he's, um, uh, he makes electronic uh, synth pop and um, so uh, we've been um, since well, about July I think last year uh, <clears throat> releasing songs together and uh, uh, yeah we have some uh, nice plans for 2022 um, continuing to uh, improve uh, technically and uh, hopefully there may be some coloured vinyl on the way but watch this space. What's inspired you to do music? Well, I have always loved music ever since I discovered it uh, when I was about nine years old and uh, first became really aware of it then and uh, um, longed to be a pop star um, all my young life and uh, what have you and uh, I never thought it was achievable and it probably isn't really so this is as close as I'm going to get to my childhood dream. Um, I just love making music, it's sort of, uh, um, sometimes the process can be frustrating um, uh, but the end result is always worth it. It's just so satisfying to be able to achieve something that I never thought was possible when I was younger. And um, I just love it. It sort of keeps me occupied. It's, uh, uh, you know, being creative, I think, is good for your mind as well and good for your soul. So uh, I get a lot out of it. So that's, that's why I do it. <laughs> okay, dream gig. What two artists or bands dead or alive would you perform with and where would that gig be? I think I have been told that I have a similar sound to uh, a female artist called Amy MacDonald who I believe is Scottish um, but I really like her songs, they're very melodic, very catchy and uh, um, uh, uh, I think we'd, we'd probably uh, complement each other quite well so uh, yeah she, she'd be a good choice. Um, I'd also, uh, I'd love to be a member of Fleetwood Mac, um, not because of the drugs and all the arguments, but <laughs> I love their creativity. Um, I think they, you know, they have such a unique sound um, and they've created some fabulous songs over the years and, um, yeah, to be a part of that would be something really special. Um, I think the Royal Albert Hall would be rather nice to perform in, wouldn't it, really? Uh, but I rather doubt it's ever going to happen, but you never know. As I say, watch this space. <laughs> Thanks for the interview. Is there any you want to give a shout out to? There is a whole lovely Twitter community out there. Um, people are just so supportive. Um, uh, so so many names to mention and I'm sure I'm going to leave somebody off, somebody off really important but uh, um, a few people spring to mind um, I'd like to thank uh, John Mickey for all of his help and um, he's so generous with his time um, and uh, he's brought a whole load of us together um, keeps us together and uh, a very very supportive guy and a great musician as well um, and of course to you, Nanny, thank you very much for doing these interviews. Um, uh, CC Trubiak, he is a wonderful singer. Um, he has such stage presence as well. Um, check out his songs on uh, YouTube, he is just amazing. And uh, I'd like to say hello to Weimar Band, who, uh, who are, um, they actually like my music, which is fabulous. <laughs> uh, so hello Weimar Band. Um, Gosh, there's just so many people. Uh, Byron Smith, Brent Ubold. Um, I, I, I've gone completely blank at this point. Um, but yeah, so many people that, uh, out there who I really appreciate. And um, uh, hello and thank you to all of you in the Twitter community. Uh, you, you're great. I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh